What's they happening? You're talking too much today. <laughs> okay, St. Louis. If you have lactose intolerance, listen up. Or if you're plant-based and you still want to enjoy some of your favorite classic holiday treats, the STL Veg Girl is here with us for a quick fix on how you can still enjoy a Christmas favorite eggnog. 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 Less. Nah. Egg less nog. I like that because we're not eating eggs for plant based. Right. Okay, how does one enjoy eggless eggnog? So, we're, very easily. It's mm. nice and thick and creamy. It has all the spices of, of Christmas and the holidays, so let's get started. Okay, that makes me happy. Yeah, Where yeah, are yeah. we starting? We're going to just put a little bit of water in our blender. Okay. These are soaked cashews. The reason okay. I've soaked them is so that we're not blending, 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 mm. blending on TV. Right, okay. So, just some cashews. And cashews are going to make it very, very creamy. Now, you mentioned you soaked them because of TV, but should we still soak them at home? Well, unless you have a high-speed blender, yes. So if okay. you don't have a high-speed blender, do soak the cashews. How long are we soaking? At least an hour. You can do it overnight. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Ooh, well, what's next? You are not hired. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> Put in all of that coconut milk, please. Okay. This is a full-fat coconut milk. If you want to pull the, the heat, I'm sorry, the fat down mm -hmm. a little bit, you can use a low-fat. That's totally fine. Okay. Okay. Nice. All right. So, um, shake up a little of that cinnamon in there. Okay. I'll leave it up to you. You can figure it oh, out. Oh, I right? love cinnamon so a lot. A little bit of cloves, okay. right? Okay. Now, how much sweetener do you want? That's oh, I'm worried. I'm nervous. Okay. Just Maybe a I'll just little. Maybe I'll just do a little bit. Yeah. Is that a little? I mean, you can do more. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's about how much I was going to put. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's you sure made me nervous. Sure <laughs> <laughs> I just added a little bit of vanilla. Okay. And then a, a teeny pinch of salt. Just a little just bit just of salt. Just a little bit of salt. Okay. All right, so we're good here. Now, we were just talking off camera. So your Nutribullet has started to smoke. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if I want you touching mine. All right. <laughs> Look, you can do it. <laughs> I guess I've had that baby a little too long. It was my Nutribullet RX, and it, it, it said we're done, Chelsea Haynes. New Year, New Year. Right. Okay, so we have a little bit of cinnamon, clove, maple syrup. Yes. Okay. So we have a nice frothy. Ooh, I like that she says frothy. Frothy. Frothy and ready to go. Yeah. Now does this need to be chilled? So you can you can drink it mm. um, room temperature chilled, or you can warm it up. Ooh. Totally up to you. Not. Oh, this smells amazing. And then um, we're going to, and there's some cashews in there still. We okay. just, it just needed to be blended a little bit longer. Okay. So uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of nutmeg in there. This is freshly ground Yummy. nutmeg. Yes. Okay. And then just make it pretty. Star anise. And a little bit of cinnamon. Oh my gosh, this is really pretty. Isn't it? Yeah. And then, so if you wanted to, if you were feeling spirited, we could Always. put some bourbon or rum in okay, there. Okay. But because you like your job and I like my job here, we're gonna just maybe do that no. after five. Perfect. Cheers. I mean, it is five o'clock somewhere. Well, that is true. That is always true. Just not here. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. That's good. Oh, it's delicious, is what it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's how you enjoy a mm -hmm. lactose-free vegan eggnog. And I will say, I'm not going to lie to you, I was a little concerned about the consistency, mm -hmm. but it's perfectly frothy. Mm -hmm. It's not too thick. No, no. And it's not too coconutty either. No, no, no. Huh? That's because of those cashews and of course the spices that we've used. Yeah. So it gives it a really nice consistency. Mm -hmm. It's nice and thick, but it's not too on the top. In your mouth, right? Mm -hmm. It's good. I can still talk. Yeah, there you go. I did it. I can still talk and I'm on TV. You saw me drink it, everybody. <laughs> that was actually really good, Karen. Thank so, you. Thank, thank you, you for stopping by, sharing this recipe with us. You also have more recipes online if people are interested in maybe making the switch, trying to plantify those recipes that they enjoy, especially during the holiday seasons. Where can they go to get more information? Go to our website at cpbl-stl.com where we have over 400 recipes for Oh you. my gosh, that is amazing. Over 400 recipes. And guess what, St. Louis? You can take classes. It is one of its kind, the Center for Plant-Based Living here in St. Louis. And I like this recipe, it's good. Cheers, my friend. Cheers, my friend. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this quick break.